Yo guys, so today I'll show you how to play and use your X PS3 controller on your PC. Um, so if you want to play on Steam or some other type of games out there, so using a PS3 controller. So, and this is the official driver, and this is not like SCP Toolkit. So, just in case you're wondering, this is not SCP Toolkit driver. I know it sucks. It's uh, I don't know. I, I don't I don't like it because it messes up my my PS3 controller and uh my PC drivers. So yeah. Anyway, so I'll put this down description. Um, it's uh, it's a media fire link i'll actually put two of them um just in case this doesn't work uh so yeah i'll just go ahead and install it i i made it as media fire because um there's actually a, a website version from from playstation but like it's up it, they don't have it anymore so so if you wonder, so I just go ahead and install it and stuff like that, and yeah, you could deal with it. And yeah, just make sure you have a zip file and just in case. So yeah, anyway. So once you install that, uh, it might ask you to update. Just hit X on it. Um. So yeah. So it's it's actually PlayStation now. You probably heard of it. So so yeah. Um, just in case. So anyway, once you've done that, everything good to go. So I'm gonna go to start menu, and you wanna here wanna search up. Um, you wanna search up control panel. All right. They're right here. Let me just open it. Okay. So, what you want to do where it says hardware and sound, you want to click at the bottom of it where it says view devices and printers. So, there you go. You'll see your, your keyboard and mouse and like your PS2 controller and your monitor and stuff like that. And just, you know, you'll just need to do something with your controller. So just right click on your PS2 controller, where it says PlayStation um, R3 controller. Okay. So properties. And then right here, go ahead to hardware, where it says general hardware. And then right here, you want to go to USB input device all right and you just want to hit properties and uh, driver all right um, you actually have to do it to um, you want to have to you have to do this first change settings all right so once you're in here you want to go to driver update driver um, you want to browse my computer and you want to let me pick, okay? And then right here, there's two drivers, um, depends on your computer. Um, just pick the PS3 one, the wireless controller for PS3. So it should say the exact, um, name, um, or it won't work for you. So, so you just hit next. Okay, so it's installing. Wait for it. So just hit close. So now you've done it. You will have to restart your computer. So, so yeah. Um. So yeah, I, I'm not gonna do that for now because I'm recording and quite. Uh, 
And I'm not going to edit this video too much, huh? So, yeah, um, just hit yes once you install that and stuff. I'm going to hit no because, like I said, I'm recording. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Alright, so, let's see. So, yeah, you can pretty much use it on your Steam now. Uh, perfectly fine, but, uh, you know, let's see. Since I, I didn't restart, so, I don't mind. Yeah, I didn't restart, so, but, once you restart, it should work. Um... And yeah, it should, you should be able to play games on Steam perfectly fine. So, so let's say you want to play Siege with a PS3 controller, it's up to you. So yeah, um, yeah thanks for watching and uh, hopefully this helps. Um, yeah. Just let me know if you have any problems and I uh, will see you next time. Yes.